In this video, I'm going to cover the new Substance 3D Assets panel window that became available in Substance 3D Painter version 10. And that allows you to download and use new materials right inside Substance 3D Painter. This way you can stay entirely inside Substance 3D Painter and never leave your project while you look for new materials and use them. And before you would have to download the materials and then have to import them into your project so you can use them. Now you can still use the previous method and I'll list a tutorial that I've created before on how to do that. But with this new method, it allows you for a quick iteration right inside your project. So let's begin. Here I have a sample asset open and the default layout. And you will see a new tab inside the library section right here next to assets, Substance 3D Assets. This is the new 3D asset panel where you can browse and download the materials. Now, if you happen to not see this window uh, or you closed it, you will have an icon on the right hand side right here on the very bottom for the Substance 3D assets panel. So it will either be right here on the right hand side or if you have a tab open, it will disappear from the right hand menu and it will appear as a tab next to assets. Now you can bring that back. So let's say you close the window and you want to have it right next to the assets panel. Just go to Windows, Views, and enable Substance 3D Assets. If you happen to have this window as a floating window, and you want to dock it back into as a tab, you can simply click on this icon right here, Undock, and it'll dock it back next to the Assets tab. So just a few ways of making that panel appear as a floating window, as a docked, or as an icon on the right hand side. Let's go back to the Substance 3D Assets menu and let's cover just a few ways of navigating, searching, and a few icons you need to know about. So by default, you will see everything being displayed on what you would want to download. If you left click on any of these icons, it'll give you a preview that you can cycle through by clicking on these little circles for different images of what that asset will look like. And then you have some details for that asset here. Anytime you look at any of these assets and you wanna see it, in more detail, you can actually click on open web player and it will take you to a website, to a browser with a lot more options for this asset. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And here it allows you to take a look at some of the properties that are offered with this material, such as changing color, changing roughness, and all different parameters that you will actually get with this material inside Substance 3D Painter. So this simply takes you to an outside app to a web browser window and gives you a lot more options to take a look in detail. Now you do not have to go here. I just want to show you a nice little option for more specific settings for the material. If you like this material, you can just simply go ahead and download it. And what it will do, it will place this material into a specific folder on your hard drive that's associated with Substance 3D Painter. And this material will become available inside the assets library section that you can go ahead and start using. So let's go ahead and uh, download it so I can show you where it's kept and how to use it. So I'm gonna download this SBSAR, which is a regular simple material, which will appear right here under this material tab. SBSAR are simple standard materials. So let's click over back to Substance 3D Assets window and click download. As it downloads, you can see this icon right here pop up. Download Manager, it will show you the process for downloading this asset and what you've downloaded during the session. And once it's downloaded, let's click over to the Assets panel. Make sure you are under Standard Materials and you can just search for that material if you know what you downloaded, which is this one right here. Or if you want to quickly find all the materials that you downloaded for the session and instead of having to search for them, use this drop down menu arrow and choose your assets. So all of these are going to be the assets you downloaded. Just a quick way to get access to them. And then simply left click on and drag on top of your asset. And now you have a new material to use right here inside Substance 3D Painter, never leaving the software. And then of course you can uh, define all the parameters and change how this material will look inside the settings. Uh, what this did, it took this material. It is now part of your library section. Let's go back, not under your assets, but under all libraries. It's now going to be always available inside your assets panel anytime you relaunch the software. So it's always going to be here, this fresh, rough, concrete material that you downloaded or anything else you downloaded will always be accessible to you inside your assets library section. Now let me go back to Substance 3D Assets right here and I'm gonna click on the bottom right icon 
and choose open folder location and show you where these materials are downloaded and where they are kept. So this location, which is C drive, users, name of your computer, and then it's at documents, Adobe Substance, so on until you get to the assets subfolder. And here, these are all the assets that you are imported or you downloaded and where they are kept every time Substance 3D Painter is launched. And inside the materials folder, here's the rough concrete slab material we just downloaded. This is where all the materials, the SBSAR materials are kept. And this is where they're downloaded. And every time you restart the software, they get loaded up for you to use. Now let's go back and take a look at some other options for new materials. So right here at the very top, you will have all assets or you can ch choose my assets. So the difference between these two, my assets are the ones that you downloaded before. It is associated with your account and anything you downloaded previously, whether you have them on your computer or not, are going to be displayed here. So many of these materials I've downloaded, but I no longer have them inside that folder you just saw. But they are now connected to my account and I can just browse through everything I've downloaded in the past, whether I have them on my computer or not. And I can re-download them here. Now let's go back to all assets. Right here on the right hand side, you will have how many credits you have under your account to download any materials from the marketplace. So there are many free materials you can download, but if you have a, a number of credits that are provided for you each month, you can download any available assets from the marketplace. If you want to take a look at all the free assets, so you don't have to use your credits, or if you don't have any credits left for that month and you want to download free assets, uh, we're going to search for only free assets. So I'm going to click on this icon right here to filter. And here you can define free assets only. Click apply and all the free assets will show up so you can download anything here. Or you can uh, take a look at all the assets that you've never downloaded before. And using this option, it will remove all the little check marks of the materials you've downloaded before and just display the ones that you've never downloaded before. Let's go ahead and remove this tag. You can click the X or remove this tag and clear the filtering. Under more filters, you can define what you're looking for, surfaces, atlases, decals, the types, and so on. You can kind of go through and filter more specifically what type of materials you're looking for. I'll leave everything at default. Then you can search for anything you're looking for more specifically. So if I'm uh, in need of some concrete, just type in a search term and it will display everything. And you can see these two little check marks. Again, these are your assets you've downloaded before. And if you don't see one, that means you've never downloaded and never used that asset before. You do not have to look at each of the materials by left clicking and seeing the preview. If you just like what you see, you can just download right here quickly by clicking this icon. If you need to see uh, bigger icons for these preview thumbnails, come over here to the three dots and change the display size. And last, this icon, this drop down menu here, just gives you access to the relevance for your filter for your search term, as well as the lastly updated materials and most recent ones. And the last option I'm going to show you is manually downloading the SBSAR materials from the web player. So if I click on any of these icons right here and we take a look at more in-depth preview and then let's open the web player back up. So here you are able to view, let me close this preview window, just get back to this material. You're able to view more bigger pictures as well as uh, just more details and settings for this material. If you don't see the little options that we saw before where you are able to change different parameters, just go uh, back to web player. And here, if you click on uh, these parameters icon right here, it will give you access to them. And you can see all the presets that are done for this material, as well as all the different parameters for that material that you will have access to in the settings. You can download the SPSIR material here by going back to this menu, removing the web player, and download it here. This will not place this material into your Substance 3D Painter asset location folder so it shows up inside your assets. You will have to do that manually if you download it from here. If you want this material to automatically show up, download it from the software itself right here and it will place it automatically. Here, you will have to place it manually. So by downloading this material, you will get the access to SBSIR file. Then once you have that SBSIR file, Go back to that location that I showed you before and we can get access to it quickly by clicking on this icon and opening folder location. Then simply take the SBSIR you downloaded from the web player from the Substance Marketplace website and then place it into the Your Materials folder. 
And once you've done that, it will show up inside your assets panel. Now, again, you do not need to do this because you can just simply click on this icon and it will show up inside your asset panels automatically. And this is how you use the new Substance 3D Assets window panel in Substance version 10.0 and up. Now, if you are just starting out with Substance 3D Painter and you want to learn how to texture completely from scratch without any prior experience of using Painter, I have an in-depth tutorial course that will show you how. It's Substance 3D Painter Essentials, and I will show you everything you need to know how to get started, how to use the materials, how to use different masks, and how to use the software to begin texturing your assets. It's one of the best tutorial courses on texturing with Substance 3D Painter as a complete beginner, and it will get you started so you can begin texturing your 3D models. The course is available right now for you to pick up, and I'll see you in there.